these are the people of Galway. Some of the 35,000 who live within five miles of the city. The people who will contribute to the first medical survey to be conducted in this country. One in 84, or 1,300 adults, will be asked to come forward and voluntarily participate in a survey that will determine the incidence of skin cancer in the area. They are entirely a random selection chosen from the electoral list. Hoi Galway. For the past 16 years, skin cancer has been known to be common among the adult population of the city and county. Of all the cancer cases admitted to the regional hospital, one third were due to cancer of the skin. And private surveys carried out at the local Galway hospitals between 1960 and 1963 gave the first statistical confirmation of the high rate here. This survey has an international significance. Specialists in the United States and Australia found that in Philadelphia and Brisbane, half of the people suffering from skin cancer were, were either first or second generation Irish. And I feel that the people of Celtic stock are more vulnerable than others. In Ireland, this means especially the people of the West. Though they, like many others in this country, were shocked by the statements of Professor Orbach of Philadelphia on his visit to Ireland. Well, although you don't get a great deal of sunshine, so I found out today, uh, nevertheless, the sunburning radiation goes right through the clouds. So this is one factor. The other factor is that there appears to be a hereditary predisposition on part of the Celtic people, the Irish and the Scot, to develop skin cancer much more so than other people. And what do you think we should do about it here? Well, I think the important thing is one to recognize that this is happening, uh, to seek treatment as early as possible and uh, to come to the physician if you have any non-healing wound or anything of this sort uh, and to, to take some care not to do any more sunbathing than is absolutely necessary. The people of Galway are vitally concerned about the results of this survey and Galway County Council, realizing its significance, voted £4,000 to help finance it. County Manager Mr. Austin Sharkey reflects his council's interest. Those who are invited to attend are selected by chance and their being invited does not indicate in any way that they are suffering from skin cancer or are ever likely to suffer from skin cancer. The examination is superficial and is very short. It takes about three minutes. It is vital to the success of the survey that everyone who is called comes. Those who do come will have the satisfaction of knowing that they are contributing to our knowledge of this disease and that they are performing a public service. Do you like to expose yourself to the sun? No, I don't. Why not? Because I get badly burned. Have you often got badly burned? Uh, once or twice. Can you remember about what time did this happen to you? I was about eight or nine years old at the time. I see. Can you remember what part of your body was burned? Uh, it was mainly my back and arm and neck. Your face? It was, yes. I see. Have you ever freckled after sunshine? Uh, I do freckles in the week. Do you? More than 60 will be called to the county clinic in Chantella each week during the first stages, and a questionnaire on their environment, living and recreational Could facilities, your height, will be please. sent for computer analysis to the United States. Your weight, uh, eight and a half stone. Color of your hair, brown. Did you ever have any skin conditions? No. Did you ever have any of the following? Impetigo? No. Boils? No. Fever blisters? No. Shingles? No. Chicken pox? Uh, yes, I had. This survey is a massive six days a week operation for Dr. Patrick Judge, who will be helped by two assistants. He is on loan from Donegal and has just returned from Philadelphia after an intensive study course with Professor Orbach. Is there a medical theory as to why the Celtic people should be more vulnerable to skin cancer than other peoples? Well, it's an established fact that fair-skinned people are much more susceptible to skin cancer than dark, dark people. From the point of view of sunshine, is it? Yes. But is that a valid argument here in Ireland? After all, this is a very wet country. Well, I think there's a very wrong misconception here amongst a lot of people about you need blazing sun to get uh, skin conditions. You don't. I mean, uh, in the solar spectrum, we have ultraviolet light as one of the constituents, and in excess of that, it has been proven that that is the basic skin condition.